do you require anything else car number car number itself you can take like car id registration number so car registration number take it as var car make it primary key and car name vehicle registration again it is not required right actually this car references we are using in another tables as a integer so if i use car registration number as a var car so it will affect that right there i need to change data types in schemas so better to maintain car id and car number also actually not required this one also primary key car id also can be primary key Uh -huh. Again, it is uh, different. We have to create one more entity. Separate entity we should create. Okay, take car ID. Car ID integer. Then car registration number. You can take it as var car. And uh, car name. and fuel type so here we may required one fuel type and one car type tables again fuel type can we insert fuel type petrol or diesel here directly yeah. alas do you do you want to create one more separate table hmm? in same we can manage but if we have records are 100 it's fine if you have vehicle records 1000 or 1 lakh vehicles if you have better to create better to create separate table in the table i can put vehicle type petrol or diesel that ids i can use here every time instead of inserting that id i mean diesel or petrol that characters every time so fuel type take separate entity car type also take separate entity and what we required car registration number car name charges id yeah charges id you can enter type of integer date of added to cart date and time and car model car model year time is required so you can pass your model year and some description through var care And for vehicle types, for car types and fuel types, you need to create two separate entities. So create one more entity, vehicle type. For vehicle type, use vehicle type ID, vehicle type description, vehicle type name. Vehicle type ID vehicle type name vehicle type description okay then for that vehicle type also create one more entity here vehicle type parameters vehicle type id vehicle type name and its description add that parameters here vehicle type id integer make it primary key 
vehicle type name fire care and vehicle type description wear care yeah and fuel readings okay fuel types also we required one more entity fuel types fuel types fuel type id fuel type name fuel type description petrol diesel gas and under description you can add charges okay and this vehicle type and fuel types you can add to your car vehicle type id and vehicle type ID used as a foreign key here. Fuel type ID used as a foreign key here. Okay. Then create one more. Fuel type. Here this attributes fuel type ID. then fuel type description then for car you can add that foreign key is here vehicle type id integer fuel type id which type of car it is based on this vehicle type and fuel type only you can find is it vehicle i mean diesel car or petrol car and the relationships are here one to many huh one car one to many Why it is taking car ID here? I didn't given right. Have we given? No. Okay. Yes. Yeah, relationships it is showing here. In previous use case also have it have it shown. Primary key foreign key is automatic shown. Primary key and that related foreign key. Okay. One too many. One to many or one to one? One car it can have one vehicle type. Okay, okay. Many cars they can have same vehicle type. Right? So one vehicle type we can maintain. Number of times right in one car. Same petrol cars I can have number of cars. Okay, one to many. Fuel reading. Fuel reading attributes are what? Okay, fuel type also same relationship. One to many. Then two foreign keys, foreign key one, foreign key two. Yeah, fuel reading. Fuel reading attributes. Come on fast. Fuel reading ID. Fuel reading ID. Integer primary key. The next. Fuel type. So fuel type ID you can use here, right? The table ID. Fuel type ID from the table you can use. Foreign key. And. reading date
date and time and time which time it is okay reading date and reading time date and time yeah and to feel reading feel reading so which one is last reading how to find here we need to maintain not in that insurance use case here it is required the last feel reading is what you need to find right so that last count you need to enter here version add here okay is it completed yeah speedometer yeah come on speedometer parameters speedometer id car id for vehicle fuel type reading yeah car id we required here one car it can have any number of fuel readings three four in case huh car table car id we are maintaining here right fuel id here not required okay change this arrow then car id maintaining here as a foreign key so parent from parent side you need to show that arrow the child is fuel reading for one car we have we can have any number of fuel readings and a speedometer reading speedometer id and car id foreign key and reading date reading time so our date our time and meter reading meter reading integer and here also we required version integer which is the last reading we need to find right so that one also we required here then here also relationship is same one to many car id is not primary key yeah just to put the static relationship actually here car id only we are maintaining here so you need it need to make that one as a foreign key here cr id okay here i given car id right change that name better to maintain same name then it can recognize okay okay i made it primary key yeah now it is fine car id is foreign key and anything left here in fuel reading also in fuel reading car id it is taking as a foreign key that is fine 
वेर ओके 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 सो टू एड इट सो यू कैन डिलीट दिस वन नॉट इज फाइन राइट या ओवर 